this paper is about um transforming sequence tagging into a sequence to sequence task so the goal of the paper is to understand uh different formats of input and output for a t5 model when it is used in a sequence tagging setting um and uh, so let's go through the abstract uh casting a sequence tagging task as a sequence to sequence uh, one require deciding the format of the input and the output sequence so what is a sequence tagging task it's a task where you have input sequence and target is some tag which are attached to the uh, inputs so it's a tagged version okay and uh, so we we need to decide so when we are having this kind of a task we have to decide how input and how the target should look so however uh, we lack a principal understanding of the trade off associated with this format so you can we can have different formats and we actually don't know like what form format works what format doesn't work so this paper focuses on understanding some insights of these formats and um, which one is the best one uh, in whatever in whatever formats they are studying so in this paper we rigorously study different formats one could use for casting input sentences and their output labels into a input and target for a sequence to sequence model so along the way they also introduce a new format which we show uh, to not only be simpler but also more effective uh and they believe that their finding provide a strong empirical basis in understanding how we should tackle sequence tagging task so this is an example of uh from uh, existing research and this is how they are designing it and there are some uh some more studies here in the related work and all of these methods however apply fairly similar text to text format in that they have input and they pre, uh, they have a prefix for that maybe like a uh, tagging task sequence tag this input some prefix and uh, input um and leave the rest of it mostly unchanged and for the target they use tagged span format or slight variant for the uh, so what is tagged span it's is a format where you have some input tokens with an interlace with the tags for the associated spans okay so they have some input and they have some tags and that's the format they name it as tagged span so this is what the existing work uh does and the format which is under study are these four and some variants of it um the first one is tagged span what it means is there's this input and they take spans of it and have tag uh tags for example add has a tag outside so there's a starting tag there's an end tag kent james is a span and they tag it as artist so there's a open uh open tag and a close tag so the spans are actually tagged in input tag uh the input is written as it is and they have a tag but there's no closing bracket so there's only a tag uh o stands for outside and specific words they stand for specific uh tags T on tag only is only the tag so there is no there is no bracket there is uh, no input they are just the tags and sentinel tags is just the tags with some sentinels and the sentinels are also added to the input uh so this is a, these are the four formats and they have some simpler formats where for example the i artist is replaced with i and the other format is where they drop o so there is no o so everything here minus o uh, with uh, without o okay so these are the formats and why this format because given how common these format is in existing work one may suspect that this choice originates from some meticulous study however until this paper there has been no previous efforts exploring other choices or understanding the relative benefits and drawback drawbacks of this format so it's it's one of the play papers where they're actually analyzing different formats which is interesting um and what they assume is that uh the copying of the input for example here they are copying the input in the target also it actually creates a lot it makes the task little bit more harder uh that's what their hypothesis is 
um yeah so that's the overall uh and this is the format they are introducing as uh, a new format which is actually not very new because the t5 is actually trained using these kind of formats so it's not new but the, it hasn't been used in the existing research much so these are the formats and the study some de de uh, details about data set so they are using seven different public data sets four monolingual and three multilingual these are all um they are all like sequence tagging data sets and in this table you can actually find some statistic about it like how many tags are span how complex it is so few of them are little so tag entropy is uh, indicates difficult of identifying a tag for any given span so you can find like which uh, data sets are difficult which are not you know like some more details about it empirical setting is they are using t5 base and um t5x code and they're training on these samples for so they're taking a pre-trained model and uh training further on these samples for five thousand steps and there are more details about learning rate path size uh they're using two metrics uh, one is perfect one is f1 perfect is uh the exact match uh f1 is uh how many uh, words and spans are actually tagged correctly so uh, these are the two metrics for benchmark they use uh, mbert so they use mbert and they have all of these uh, different formats so the thing is that the sentinel with tag so uh, the one with the extra ids without the input uh, they haven't checked that with the input so we don't know with input how much it differs but this is without the input but has some tags and the extra ids the sentinels and this performed the best out of all the formats uh so that's like one insight okay so there are some questions they are trying to answer one is do variance and simplification works so uh well, what they found was that if you remove these o's i mean o is just outside uh tag and we don't actually need it need them right so if you remove that the performance goes down um so so it's better that you have some tags for each word that's kind of uh one of the insight they have that that the model do not benefit from skipping any tokens or tags so it's better to have some tag even if it is an outside tag it's better to have some tag um in multilingual setting uh they have two settings called joint multilingual and zero shot uh in in joint multilingual they have training sets for the different languages together uh so the training happens on multiple languages uh and uh but in zero shot they they are it's just on the english data set so that's the difference um so overall the main insight from these two tables so these two tables actually gives you uh, about zero shot setting and mul joint multilingual uh, i think the main insight from this table is that even if sentinel works right like even if the sentinel plus tag sentinel format works we don't actually know that which variant of it works better like in this setting sentinel plus the simplified version of uh this one works but in in this case it is the other one which works so again like there is this um like there's no uh even you know that the format works we actually don't know like which variant yeah, actually I'm, yeah so which variant works right uh next is robustness and efficiency what it means is um understanding the effect of model size so what we see here that even if you change the model size uh, the result again says that this model actually performed the best so it is consistent the results are con consistent with the model um so for the hallucination part what they are saying here is that even if you increase the model the hallucination from the sentinel uh, the sentinel format are less that's the f like overall insight um 
and also like because we don't have input in this format the while running experiment we observed that sentinel plus tag and tag only models were much faster at both training and especially at inference so the key is to this is the sequence lengths of these models being far shorter than those models which needs the input to be repeated like the input tags and tag approaches tag span approaches so the idea is that we shouldn't be using inputs in the output uh, uh, in the tag sequence and um, uh, that's another insight so overall the main takeaway from this paper is that uh, one that uh, even if we think that some format works we actually don't know which variant works and uh, the other insights are that each uh, each word in the sequence needs a tag even if it is an outside tag it's better to have tags for each of the words and uh, the another uh, insight is that the it's better if we don't have inputs present in the tag sequence so yeah so that's that's all for this paper